The second term on the left hand side of the given equation is defined when x is greater than or equal to 1 and the right hand side is defined when x is greater than or equal to 1 upon 4. Both of these conditions are satisfied when x is greater than or equal to 1. Let's call this condition 1. Note that when this condition is satisfied, the first term on the left hand side is also defined. Now squaring the given equation, we get x plus 1 plus x minus 1 minus 2 times square root of x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 4x minus 1. This simplifies to minus 2 times square root of x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1. Squaring again, we get 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1 square, which is equal to 4x square minus 4x plus 1, which implies that 4 times x square minus 4 is equal to 4x square minus 4x plus 1. 4x square cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side, and we get 4x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 5 upon 4. Now we'll check if the solution x is equal to 5 upon 4 satisfies the given equation. Root of x plus 1 minus root of x minus 1 is equal to root of 4x minus 1. Putting x is equal to 5 upon 4 on the left hand side, we get root of 5 upon 4 plus 1 minus root of 5 upon 4 minus 1 and this is equal to root of 9 upon 4 minus root of 1 upon 4 which simplifies to 3 upon 2 minus half which is equal to 1. Now putting x is equal to 5 upon 4 on the right hand side we get root of 4 times 5 upon 4 minus 1 which is equal to root of 4. which is equal to 2. Therefore, left hand side is not equal to right hand side when x is equal to 5 upon 4 and therefore x is equal to 5 upon 4 does not satisfy the given equation. It therefore follows that the given equation has no solution which is the required answer.